ghostly lady, a haunted graveyard, and mysterious spectres hiding in the archways all have been reported at tonight's location, Acton Vanell Castle. Here is Acton Bunnell Castle. It was originally built as a large manor home by the rich and powerful Robert Bunnell, who decided to name it after himself. It was later converted into a castle by the best stonemasons money could buy in 1284, with permission being granted to Robert by the King of England, Edward I. King Edward often stayed in the castle himself during his Welsh conquests. Robert Bunnell, who was also Bishop of Bath and Wells, died in 1292, and not too long after this, in 1420, the castle itself was abandoned and left to decay into ruins. In its heyday, the ground floor of the castle was used for service and storage rooms, while the first floor and second floor were both used for living and sleeping quarters. Everything in the castle revolved around the huge great hall, that would have been a sight to behold. Ghost sightings and tales of the paranormal have been rife at the castle for many, many years, with men on horseback and a woman in white lace being spotted here by visitors, and even the whispers of centuries past conversations being overheard by the local security teams. Strange photographs and stories of a woman dressed in white lace appearing late at night in this castle spotted many times. She shows herself to people before then levitating away into the upper areas of the castle. Many people who have visited this castle usually report feeling a sense of dread, which is often accompanied and followed by a sighting of a spectre in the archways and windows beside me and above me. Tonight, we'll be setting up a locked off camera and covering this whole area behind me in hope that we'll see this spectre. I'm actually feeling a little bit uneasy already actually because just before we started filming this section, we both believed to have seen a white figure in that top archway up there. Now that, to me, is quite unusual. And we didn't expect that, certainly not this early on. So hopefully tonight, tonight's investigation will be uh, pretty spectacular if we're getting that sort of result already. A few years ago, a medium was brought here and she made contact with two different spirits. First of which was a young girl who was crushed to death by horses in this area. And the second was a medieval soldier by the name of Reginald. Could these two spirits be held accountable for some of the ghostly goings on in this castle? The scratching sounds which are heard on the castle walls and the balls of light which are seen all around. Welcome to St Mary's Graveyard. This graveyard is situated just outside the castle grounds, which lies in those trees behind me. Now, the walkway to this graveyard is actually on a pagan cross. It's set out as a pagan cross. And in the middle of the cross is a very creepy statue, where tonight we'll be putting a locked off camera in the hope to see some weird paranormal activity, such as the orbs of light which have been spotted, the apparitions, the very strange noises that have been heard here. But that's not all. One of us tonight will be coming alone and doing a solo vigil. We've now arrived. We're uh, going to make our way into the castle. Sadly, our Twitter votes come up even, so either of us could be going in the castle. So we've resorted to the coin toss, but thank you everybody who voted and got involved. Right, heads or tails.
For me, tails every time. <laughs> you joking? No, I'm not joking. Thank you, God. <laughs> On that note, let's head in. Here are the four locked off cameras that we have set up and we'll be using for tonight's investigation. Camera one shows the double archway entrance into the castle. Camera two is covering the inside doorways and windows of the castle. Camera 3 is where our trigger object, Diana doll, is set up. And camera 4 has been placed in the centre of the graveyard that is situated next to the castle. Yep. Yeah. Um, quite a big structure, quite a nice, nice surroundings. Beautiful surroundings. Absolutely. Seriously creepy. I was going to say it really is. Um, I think this calls for the uh, first point of uh, first point of call tonight. I think. An EVP. Yeah, I think we should kickstart it straight away. Yeah. This is definitely the creepiest location we've been to, I think. I would say so. I'm well. drawn straight away to the archways over there. Which one is the main? Yeah. Well, what we've got... What well, obviously, earlier on today, I thought I saw something in that archway, so... The very top middle one, is it? Yeah. Can you pick that up the camera now? Yeah, I certainly can. That's the archway that I believed I thought I saw something in. I think we're going to be drawn to that all night, aren't we? And we're going to be... And the archways below it, I believe. I think just the archways in general. It's just that whole area, I think, isn't it? Um, yeah. Right, so we're in location one. We're um, going to start our first EVP of the night. Brian's going to kick us off. Let's give you a quick pan of the castle. Seriously creepy place. Heard lots of strange movement and noises already, haven't we? Did you just see that? See that? What? What? It's like, that's just really startling. What was it? This. What this. was that? Don't know. Sounds like something been banging on the castle wall. Yeah. That. I think spinning round us, man. Did you see that, then? Yeah, I think I did. Feel like something's spinning around us. Yeah. Okay. Right. What? Is it a reflection? That's trying all this. I keep thinking I'm seeing faces everywhere. My eyes are playing some serious tricks on me, I think. What's that? Yeah. Just look on the castle walls. Yeah. What was that? Okay. Right, we've just heard what sounded like something telling us to get out. I keep seeing faces. Yeah. Honestly, I can hand on heart say we haven't even started and I'm already feeling very, very nervous. You actually wanted to leave a minute ago, uh, didn't I, you? I do want to leave already. Can you want to see, see this? There's something spinning around us. Right. So for the I keep hearing thing. some very strange noises, mate. I'd like to know if there's any spirits present here with us tonight. Please talk to us and make yourself known on this device that I'm holding. Show we didn't have the EVP playing before. And we, uh, I'm hoping the locked off camera picked it up. Um, I'm about that. I'd like to know if 
there's any spirits present here with us tonight. Please talk to us and make yourself known on this device that I'm holding. I can honestly say this is the most uncomfortable I've felt in any location we've been so far. Went absolute country mile. I don't know why. I just, you know what, I can't even think to speak. I'm literally just panning around, expecting to see something there. I'm going to apologise for my jumpiness, but I keep seeing faces. This is not like it used to be jumpy. I'm usually, uh, well, I'm usually more jumpy, aren't I? All I can honestly say is every time you're, every time I'm looking around, I keep seeing, all I can describe it as is it looks like a face coming out of nowhere and they're just literally hovering around all of us. Well, I believe somebody's actually caught a face picture of what he said was a lady dressed all in white here. White lace. I mean, could this be what we feel flowing around us? I don't know. There has been an apparition of a lady in white. Um, do you ask some more questions on the EVP? We don't know who she is, do we? No, we don't. Um, so I'm going to ask... Is there a spirit of a lady here? I think what concerns me already is the fact of when we've done these investigations in the past before, you've always told me that when you've got the camera in your hand, you feel a sense of distraction almost, so when you do get freaked out. Well, what, obviously what people can't see, it's pitch black, isn't it? Yeah. With a camera, at least I've got a sense of something, I can see what's around me. So I suppose there's almost a slight comfort in it. And the fact you're already getting freaked as well. I feel like there is somebody with us from the second we walked in. I'll say one thing, and that's, um, as we were talking about earlier today, we said about the apparition that people get, and they always say that there's a feeling of dread that comes with yeah, it. Yeah, and I, I think we've both got that, haven't we? I've got my support now. Yeah. After saying that. Right. Shall we move on to location two? That's probably a very good idea. Right. I'm forming EVP here now. Me and Brian can see things flying around. We can hear noises. Is this you? Is this the girl dressed all in white? We're, um... Wait. What? Is your no, torch on? Thirsty. No. You've got my torch. What's that up on the wall? The thing that keeps flying around? What's that? What? There it is, look again. I can't see. What the fuck is that? A lady here. 
There's a white light floating up the fucking wall there. I know. It's like in a square. And it circles us. Is it reflecting in something? I okay. don't know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is that what you saw? Yes. I thought you saw it. This is what I saw straight away. Mate, I can't believe that. Right, so for the purpose of the camera, um, when we came in, immediately I immediately got freaked out because there was a light spinning around the whole castle walls. And Nathan's now seeing the same thing. He obviously didn't see it at the same time. I and saw it behind me. It actually appeared to fly across my chest at one point. And it's just been up on that wall of death. <laughs> Man, what the hell is going on? I don't know. It's not even on a orb, it's like a, a square block of misty light. Look at that, a foot wide. Mmm. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet smell, that's a first. That's the best way to describe this. What? God, I've just got an icy cold. And me. Second, oh, yeah, big time. It's a lot. Every time I say it's back, it vanishes. Do you know what I will say? Whoa! What? Somebody just, mate, what? I'm done. What do you mean? A fucking face just appeared here. Where? I swear to God, a bloke just fucking appeared here. The Where? face. Right there. Okay, I'm with you. Head height. I'm with you. Clear as day. I'm with you. See the face. I'm with you. Alright? Oh, man. What do you look like? Fucking, you know, I don't want to say. A longish nose. Okay. Mate, I just saw a face appear directly there. Yeah. Out of nowhere and disappeared straight away. It... Right? Agreed or not? Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Well, this is what this is what happened to me when I was doing the right, first. Okay, I, I, I'm almost done. It was as we were talking about the light. He is circling us. You know that voice that we heard? Yeah. I thought it was a bloke. Really? Yeah. It sounded like a bloke to me. Most obvious question. Um, we don't mean no harm. We know that you're here because we've seen you. Do you want us to leave? Make a, a clear sign. Clear sign, and we promise we will leave. Does it sound like something then at the end? It sounded like something, but I couldn't make Couldn't it tell out. what it was. Oh my god, I've just seen the face again. I can't believe this, mate. Wait, wait, wait. Mate, it's just... I can't right see where I'm again. going. It was right next to you. It was stood right next to you. Me? Right next to you. Right. Its head was just, it's slightly... Well, it looked taller than you, and you're straight six foot fucking ten. It's a hovering face is the best way to describe it. This Has is... It anybody, just a really clear hovering face. Nobody, just a face. And really clear. Do you know what? The torch doesn't even help because I'm seeing shit even with the torch on. It, it, it's kind of low light. I mean, for the again, for the purpose of the investigation, we've got um, UV torch. Yeah, so we're it's very low light. we're staying in full but spectrum as much as we can. Well, we are totally in full spectrum. Um, I'm glad that you're seeing this face. Can you describe him again? It's got long hair. Big nose and quite like a slim face. That's all I can tell you. Right, okay. But it's like a video game, the way it hovers towards you and around you. Like a horror movie as well. Oh, Jesus. Strange faces and mysterious balls of light plagued our investigation so far. However, heading into location three, things were about to take a turn for the worst. I'll put my camera down, so it'll affect the laptop camera or not. It's fine, absolutely fine. Right, so we've just come into the... I've just seen a face behind you. You are joking me. No. Nah. 
Mate, I can feel something on my neck. Yeah. Hold on. Mate, I'm fucking dizzy. What the? Don't do this to me. No, yeah. straight up, mate. I'm not joking. I'm Don't fucking do dizzy. Don't do I'm putting my main torch on. What the fuck just happened? Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. Alright? Yeah. Straight up, it felt like the fucking ground just went from beneath me. I'm just going to take a few photos on behind you. Mate, Ooh, I'm amazed. I'm still really here. Weird. When you said... Well, to be honest, the split second before you said you saw a face behind me, I felt like something was massaging my neck deep. And next thing I know, it was like the ground moved beneath me. This face that I keep seeing, I don't know if it's the same for you, but it's almost like a video game distorting. Like exactly, something, exactly. Something darting around. It's like in fact, I think I said that earlier on. It's like it's glitching me. Yes. Yeah, to be honest, we're both a little bit shook up here, aren't we? Yeah, okay. In fact, I've, I was calming you down for a long period of time. I, I genuinely thought you were just freaking a bit. I see how you're just turning on. You're drawn to this area, aren't you? I don't like this because we were like dizzy a minute ago. I'm drawn to this area. Um, what I want to do is, if there is a spirit here, and I'm going to record this as well as an EVP, and we're going to listen back to this later, I'm not going to replay this one. Um, so I'm going to get this recorded now. Um, me and Nathan are stood in this archway here and we've put a trigger object, a doll, just resting on the window. Now, if you're here, we want you to do something to this doll, we want you to make it move, we want you to do something to it. We're going to leave this area and we're going to head over to the other side of the castle, but if you can. The medium has said that there was a young girl that wanders here. You if you're here you and you want to know. play with the doll, then it's there for you to play with. If you want to play with the doll, go for it. But do something to the doll and we'll have a look. Show us it here. Move the doll. Play with it. Throw the doll. Preferably at Brian. But yeah. Right, shall we head to location three? Let's head to location three. Right, okay. Um, so, have you got anything on the Ovulus yet? Or are we still. We've still got nothing on the Ovulus. Still nothing on the Ovulus. It surprises me because with the activity we've encountered already, I just pray to God that some of the locked off cameras pick up what we've picked up because for some reason I don't know as if this camera has. I still find. You probably noticed with the camera footage, even with this location now. I'm still drawn to location two. I just can't. I know, I know it is a focal point. It could be something focal just point. absolutely draws me there. I'm just going to take some photos in the actual um, middle of the castle. Um, also, what I'm going to do is I did this at Dales, I believe. I can't remember if we actually included it in the Dallas video, but I invited if there if was anyone here to have a photo taken. Um, I know we definitely did get a good result at Dallas, didn't we, for that? Yeah, well, invite away and take the photo. For oh my fucking god. What? <laughs> face over your left, right shoulder. You're joking? No. Right. I think this is the most affected I've ever been on an investment. Demon. Oh my god, the obvious machine just picked up the word demon. Demon. Did you just run around me then? Nope, oh, I'm right here, aren't I? Something just ran around the floor then. Something just literally made footsteps by me. We've just had a response on the obvious machine of demon. Do you mean us any harm?
got an orb flew towards you and then literally did like a U-turn away from you. Did you get on camera? Yeah. That's like lights again. It's back. Behind you. We've actually got the word demon on the over this machine. That's one word that I suppose neither of us really wanted to encounter, did we? Is anyone here who would like their photograph taken? I'm going to snap around. Feel free to show yourself in any of them. Speech. Speech. The ovulus machine has just picked up the word speech. Right. Okay. Let's walk over back to location two, I'm thinking, because location two is the biggest point for us. We're very drawn to it. Would you agree? I agree. I think location two is where the majority of the stuff's happening. Well, I felt like something's pushed down on the back of my neck and then he pushed me over and we're picking up words like demon. We're having faces appear constantly. Did you hear that? No. I was talking there. It was like a... It was like a hissing sound. So I think we need to be very careful here. Okay, I'm going to do a goodbye MVP. Mate, what, where's your hands? Here. A hand has just appeared across my fucking chest, like here. What do you mean I thought hand? you were reaching out to touch me. What do you me. mean a hand? A fucking hand. What do you mean? Oh man. On I the camera? No, on my hand. I, I looked down and I saw that. But my hand was down here. I thought you were reaching out to touch right. me. I just, I oh might, I fucking pray to God we've got some of this on the cameras. Okay, so we've had demon. You f Mate, it's, it's unreal, I isn't it? I keep seeing stuff. I've never, I've never felt this before. I had so much activity. In such a small amount of time. It's just What been was that? What? Something just tapped on that wall then. If you'd like us to go, knock once for yes and twice for no. Okay, so um, I've just finally got to the graveyard um, where I'm going to do the solo vigil. I lost the coin toss in the car. Um, and some of you guys on Twitter actually wanted to see me come in here as well, so that's quite reassuring. Cheers, guys. Um, so I'm going to start tonight here again with another EVP. Hopefully we... That's, uh, I don't know if you just heard that, Nathan. In the... Actually, I would, yeah. <laughs> um, I was just about to start, actually. Um, I'm going to do an EVP again. Okay. Alright, cheers, buddy. Thank you. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down on this statue. Um, oh.
very straight. All the stones and everything, it's just as bad as the castle being in it. Okay, I want to ask again if there's any spirits here in the graveyard with me tonight. Please make your presence known. I think I'll just say footsteps when I ask that first question. I'm monitoring the uh, laptop camera on the laptop in the car, and uh, I thought I saw something move behind you. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Try walking behind the statue. Ask a few questions. Okay. Honestly, Thor. I thought I could hear footsteps when I asked that first question. Is there anyone here that wishes to communicate with me? If there is, please speak into this device. Can't see this thing. Again, it's just like the castle, it's very, uh, there are a lot of sounds. It's quite creepy. Nice, can you, uh, have you seen anything else? Or have you... I haven't seen anything, but I can hear a lot of footsteps. I don't know if they're yours or not, though, if you're moving. Press down in still for a minute. I was moving quite a bit actually, so it could be me. Um, Yeah, she tell where it's coming from, but I can definitely hear footsteps in it. Is there anyone here that wishes to have their photo taken? Please walk into the camera. Be shy. Whoa. Oh, I just heard a noise in front of me. Sorry. I heard it sounded like a gate closing before you asked a question. I wouldn't say a gate, but it's not like something dropped on, dropped by my feet, literally straight in front of me, and there's nothing above me or anything. Hey guys, that was the episode for Acton Banal Castle. Wraps that episode up and also the end of series one. Yeah, sadly that is the end of series one. Um, but quite an exciting place that was, I would say. Uh, quite full of fear, I think, as you couldn't tell if you made it this far in the video. Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> good, good place to end on. 
definitely, I think we picked very well to end on there. Um, so tell us what was your uh, thoughts on that night? It's a, it's a really interesting place. Um, it's a lot more active than I thought it would be. It's a, real, it's a lot more evidence than I thought. Yeah. Um, I was actually dubious of ending the series there because I wasn't sure how paranormal it was, so to speak. But um, I think it took us both by surprise, didn't it? I think it did, to be honest. Um, there's a lot more there than I realised. Um, probably more in the castle, I think, than the graveyard as well. Yeah, though we did get an extremely peculiar EVP in the graveyard, didn't we? That's true, yeah. Which had a really good link as well with um, what we found. Well, it's, it's, um, obviously, it seems to be Francis right. Lavelle um, actually owned Acton Bernard Castle, didn't he? Yeah. In the 1420s, I believe. Um, so, was this his spirit trying to communicate? or? He could very well have been. A uh, very interesting link we made there. Um, not only that, but talking about the other EVP that we caught, a really clear one in my opinion. Yeah, that was actually inside the castle, wasn't it? As uh, we were walking back to the location too, the uh, the camera actually picked up a voice that seemed to say the word devil, didn't it? Which, as we just picked up the word demon on the obvious, seemed very peculiar. It seems so clear. It was the way it was whispered right directly into the actual camera itself, and that's that's a camera that neither of us were holding. That was a stationary, locked off camera, yeah. and I personally cannot find any way that that would have happened. And unfortunately, the cameras didn't pick everything up, but we picked up a lot of movement of light. Yeah, now, we actually probably spent forty to fifty minutes trying to rule this light out because it seemed it almost looked like torchlight, but perfectly square, didn't it? It was kind of everything yeah. for reflections, and but the only torch we were using were infrared, which obviously yeah, sorry, not infrared. Um, the only torches we were using were UV, which give off like a purpley blue tinge, very dull light. Yeah, these were like square blocks of white light moving around, and sometimes long and thin, sometimes square, and we got a couple caught on the camera. We got some. We didn't unfortunately we didn't capture as many as what we were saying at the time, but. Um, us talking about it didn't do it justice, they were constantly spinning around us. Um, but I think the worst thing for us both all night is at the, at the start of the night you kept saying you could see faces. Yeah. And I, I had to calm you down a lot at the start of the night. I, I didn't think too much of it. I thought maybe fear was getting the better of you and the location and the brickwork, maybe something was just making it look like something it wasn't. Like illusions, but the fact of the matter is these faces were appearing all over, um, right, directly right behind you in the actual space of the middle of the castle, not on the walls. Um, they actually seem to have a physical shape to them. Well, once I saw the face for the first time... You could tell. It just, yeah, everything you said come true and it, it really did shock me. Yeah, sadly after filming Act of Vanilla Castle, our uh, trigger object down the dock took a bit of a fall and uh, that's all that's left of it. So uh, RIP down the dock, uh, thank you for all your efforts in Series 1. Thank um, you for your contribution to the investigation. We've actually got ourselves a new trigger object ready for Series 2, haven't we? Uh, which I'm sure you guys will uh, really love. Um, yeah, stay tuned and we'll back soon. So as we said at the beginning of the video, um, not only does this wrap up the end of this episode but also the end of this series. So um, thank you for following us so far into series one. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it and again if you if you do say stay subscribed to us. Um, what we're actually thinking of doing is we're going to do another series, series two. But we're going to be looking for much more feedback from you guys so if you guys want to see us go in a certain location let us know post to us on twitter um, the twitter links and our facebook links will be in this video as well um, yeah, we're, going, we're going a lot more interactive we're getting a lot more more equipment we're going for series two aren't we we need a um, we're about to start filming series two already so series two won't be long before it actually starts appearing on youtube and on facebook and twitter so there, there won't be a massive wait which is, yeah, exactly, we want to get straight back into it as soon as we possibly can. Um, and what we also want to do is create a bonus episode for yeah. Series 2. Yeah, once again, interactive, you guys, you've 
seen the series since series one now, you've seen all the episodes. If there's one location you want us to go back to, something you want us to experiment in that location or try, um, get in touch, just let us know. Um, I think we're actually going to put a, a Twitter poll on, aren't we? To, yeah. So cast your votes. Um, not only cast your vote, give us a reason why you want us to go back there. Yeah. Because that it, it encourages, if, if there's a reason, something people have seen or feel or suspect is there, that gives us all the more reason to go back there. So, so thanks very much, guys. Um, we've been the Paranormal Detectives, and until next time, we'll keep seeking the truth. Good night.